I think most bridal designers have learned how to draw when they were at fashion college. That's where, where I learned to draw, but I've always loved drawing. And I really try to make the drawing as close to the dress as possible. One of the biggest enjoyments of my job is actually seeing, seeing the dress and then comparing it with the actual finished garment, which is really, really enjoyable because you're seeing something go from a two-dimensional sketch into a three-dimensional dress. I've always ha had different directions and different lots of ideas for each collection. Um, I think my gowns are probably now more wearable than they used to be. I've tried to keep the theatrical element but still concentrate more on how to make the body look fabulous, how to make the figure look fabulous, where the dress is it's bulky in the right places but it's still enhancing the waistline, it's enhancing the neckline and giving the girls the shape that they desire without being too bulky and without covering them up too much. So I've tried to show off the body to as much of its ability and still have the volume but not have the volume in the wrong places because otherwise that would be fattening and make, make them look bigger. That's something that I've learned over time. I'm always constantly sketching and, and trying to get ideas and put them down onto paper. In the olden days, in the 50s and the 40s, people would actually buy their garments from a sketch. So in fashion, sketches were before photography and in the old um, magazines, there, were, there was no photography and you had fashion plates. People didn't photograph their collections, they would illustrate them and that's what would be published in magazines. So, Obviously with this dress, the dress has already been made so I already know how to draw it because it's, it's from the latest collection. When I'm doing a sketch that we haven't made before, quite often we'll, we'll, I'll draw the shape first and then when I realise what the material is going to be, then we'll redraw it in the correct fabric because you can draw different fabrics in different ways. Like tulle and organza, it's very light, very airy. So with tulle you'll do like crisscrosses which shows it, it has a, it has holes in it um, basically and it has, it's very sheer so certain fabrics you can, you can draw in different ways. And that's basically it. Final finished sketch. Do you want me to sign it? Yeah.